Today you will learn how to create 3D far effect in Adobe Illustrator. Start by creating a new document. Grab the ellipse tool, draw a circle by holding shift key, remove the stroke of the shape, double click on the gradient tool, apply gradient to the shape, now select the color of the gradient, here I am choosing two shades of pink. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. Now copy and paste the same circle. You can copy the circle by holding Alt key and then drag the selected shape to make its duplicate. Now select both circles and go to Object, Blend and Blend option. Select specified steps. Here I am adding 500 and then click OK. Again go to Object, Blend and select Make. The blend of the shape is created. Now use the Type tool to add any text. Here I am using the character J. You can also increase its font size. Choose any typeface for the character from the character panel. Now I have selected my favorite typeface for the character. Right click on the character and select create outline. Now right click again and select ungroup. Again right click and select release compound mask. Now go to fill and set the fill color to none. Set the stroke to one point. Grab direct selection tool. Select the line that we don't need because here we need single line of the character. Now select the anchor point and make it round just like this. Grab the selection tool and select the blend color and the character J. Go to object, blend and then select replace spine. The blended gradient color is now filled in the character and it's looking pretty good. Select the character J and then go to effect, distort and transform and then roughen. Roughen panel will appear. Set the value to 50% and 60% and then click OK. Now I am aligning it to the center. To add the shadow, use the ellipse tool to draw an ellipse. Fill the color for shadow in it. Go to effect, stylize and then feather. Set the radius to 13 pixel and click OK. Grab the rectangle tool now for making the background. Add width and height and click OK. The background is here. Align it on the artboard by horizontal align and vertically align. Now right click and select arrange and then send to back. Now we will fill a gradient color in it. Grab the gradient tool and apply the gradient. Change the angle of the gradient that you think will look good with it. Also change the gradient color appearance just like I am doing here. Well, it's the final look. 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर अपकमिंग वीडियोज लाइक दिस